Susie Cohen, America's pharmacist, talks about iodine deficiencies. Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, America's pharmacist, and today I want to talk to you about iodine deficiency. Now, you may not think that iodine deficiency applies to you, but I think it certainly does, especially if you're swimming in pools or getting in the hot tub, if you're drinking certain beverages or eating certain foods, if you're brushing your teeth, and I hope you are, then you need to listen up today because iodine is super important. Now, on the board, I have the reason why. Iodine helps your body form T4. T4 is also known as thyroxin. Now T4 is inactive. It doesn't really work. It has to be converted to T3. This is what your body craves. T3 or thyronine is your active thyroid hormone. This is what your body recognizes as your true thyroid hormone. And this is what goes into the cells and makes you feel good. Without enough T3, you're gonna be hypothyroid. And the picture of that isn't so pretty. You could have hair loss, cold hands and feet, brittle fingernails, you could have weight gain, um, constipation, pale, dry skin, fatigue. Oh, wow, a lot of fatigue, constant. The only thing that makes you happy is like a triple shot latte. Okay, so even the American Thyroid Association agrees with me on this. They did a survey and found that approximately 40% of the world's population remains at risk for iodine deficiency. That's almost half. Okay, so now that I have your attention, I want to talk to you about how you could become iodine deficient, because this is super important. What if you're drinking certain beverages? I'm not going to name them, but I want you to know that certain beverages that are extremely popular contain bromine. So does white bread. So does that new car smell. You know, I love it. Every time I get a new car, I'm just trying to breathe that in. <laughs> it's not good for you. It's off-gassing of bromine. Now, um, toothpastes, almost all of them contain fluoride. And swimming pools, they contain chlorine. The big deal, bromine, chlorine, and fluoride all compete for the same spot on the cell as iodine. And these guys are bullies. They are going to win. They're going to knock off that iodine and instead replace it with bromine, fluoride, or chlorine. Again, they're bullies. They're going to win. So if you're getting into any of this, you're probably going to become iodine deficient or you're, at least you're at risk for that. Now, what does that mean? If you're iodine deficient, you can't make thyroxin, then you can't make your active T3. And the picture of that is hypothyroidism, as I've described. Have yourself tested. Your physician can test you for iodine. It's really easy. They can also test you for T3 levels. Your free T3 should be between 3.5 and 4.2. That's where I think you'll feel the best. Now, if you want a supplement, I recommend supplements that contain both iodine and iodide. That's important. I want them to have both. And the reason for that is because your breasts and your prostate prefer iodine, and your thyroid gland prefers iodide. It's a big deal, and it matters to me, and I want you to get well. And for that reason, I recommend supplements that contain the complex of iodine and iodide. And you can find these capsules at health food stores nationwide. They can order them for you as well. One more thing. I know some of you have written to me and said that you wanted to take the solution of iodine. You can if you want. It tastes unpleasant, and the dosage from dropper to dropper is sometimes inconsist inconsistent. I just worry about that. I would prefer that you take a capsule or a tablet that contains iodine and iodide. I think that's where you're going to feel your best. I'm Susie Cohen, and I'll see you next time. To combat iodine deficiencies, try iThroid, a superior iodine formulation created in two strengths to enhance thyroid treatment and offer long-term consistent results. Available for purchase at www.rlclabs.com.